Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at 10 of the games coming to the Switch in this upcoming week. The period we're going to be covering will run from the 14th of November up until the 20th and this is actually looking like a very good week. Of the 10 games I'm going to show, 5 of them have most certainly piqued my interest and one of them I'll keep half an eye on so that's not bad at all. Please do let me know after the video how you feel about this week and the games that are coming and with all that said, let's jump in. First up, let's have a look at a game that stealth dropped, kinda, during this week, and that was Ghost Runner. There were rumours that this was going to come out on the 10th, and then it did indeed appear on that day. Mark has actually done a review of this one for us, looking at the performance of the game. So if you are interested or want to know more, I'll put the link to that review in the top in comment. The first of the games releasing this week then, we have Pure Pool. This is the one I said I'd be keeping half an eye on. I'm pretty sure this game came out a few years back on other consoles, certainly the PS4. And whilst there are quite a few pool games on the Switch, I don't think any of them really have grasped the mantle of being the best and made that position their own. You do have Snooker 19, which is a very good game, but nothing really for pool. It says the game will run at 1080p, includes a campaign mode where you can play in the 8-ball, 9-ball, black ball variations or even play snooker and there are over 480 events for you to take part in. You will be able to use the touchscreen controls as well as using the gyro option of the Joy-Cons and the game is playable in two-player locally as well as online. It's coming out on the 17th and will sell for £12.49 although there is 20% off of that price up until launch. Also on the 17th we have Sniper Elite 4. This is a third person tactical shooter with lots of stealth elements which comes of course from developers Rebellion and joins its predecessors 2 and 3 as well as spin-off Zombie Army Trilogy on the Switch. You have no idea how many takes it took to say Zombie Army Trilogy, I kept saying Army, ridiculous. This game came out in 2017 originally on other consoles, takes place in World War II Italy and includes the brutal X-Ray kill cam that the series is well known for. You can play this locally and online, I played some of free online with Mark on the Switch and it was a lot of fun and it implements Switch features such as HD Rumble and being able to pan across the battlefield using the gyroscopic controls. It sells for £34.99, although again there is a 15% discount on this that goes up until launch day. And next one that I'm very interested in, this could be one of those sleeper hits for the week, this is Mars Horizon. This game sees you taking control of a major space agency as you lead it from the dawn of the space age right through to landing astronauts on Mars. You will be creating your base with launch pads, research labs and astronaut training facilities, constructing your own vehicles, launching satellites and crewed spacecraft, as well as running the mission control as you try to solve any challenges or problems. There is a tech tree for you to work your way along and you can collaborate with other agencies or try to do it alone. There are a lot of strategy, construction, simulation games on the Switch, some have fared better than others, and I'm really interested to see how this one comes across. It's selling for £14.99, which seems very reasonable, and it has 10% off of that price up until the 24th of November. Then we have another good game coming, this is the Serious Sam Collection. This collection bundles in Serious Sam HD The First Encounter, Serious Sam HD The Second Encounter and Serious Sam 3. It also includes The Legend of the Beast and The Jewel of the Nile expansions. These games came out back in the early 2000s and I didn't even know this was coming to the Switch. Was this one of those, it's been announced and it's coming out next week? Or have I had my head up my backside for the last few months? I don't know. To be honest with lockdown, that is a real possibility. As well as the campaigns, which can be played with up to four players locally in co-op, there are also a variety of PvP modes available, such as Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch and Capture the Flag. This is a series with quite a devoted fan base, and I reckon if you'd have asked people to name a franchise they would have wanted to see come to the Switch from the past, Serious Sam would have been the name quite a few of those people would have given you. Thank you. 
Then on the 19th we have a game called War Tile. Now I actually previewed this game in an upcoming list months ago and it subsequently got delayed. So here we go again, hopefully we'll have better luck this time. This sells for £17.99 and is a strategy game based on Norse mythology. But what really drew me to it the last time I looked at it is the fact that its aesthetic is based on figurines and dioramas. So it almost looks like you are playing a living, breathing tabletop game. I love it when games do things like this. I think it really helps to immerse you in the game world. It says you will be collecting and leveling up an array of different figurines, customising your warband with armour pieces and weapons, and setting up your deck of battle cards to provide a choice of tactical options. If its gameplay can live up to its aesthetic, and if the aesthetic looks as good of course on the Switch, then this one could be a very good game. Let's hope it doesn't get delayed again. Next, also on the 19th, we have Monster Truck Championship. This claims to be the first monster truck simulation game and sees you playing in drag races and freestyle competitions. You must tune your truck and the game promises faithful reproductions of all of the unique demands of mastering driving a monster truck. There is independent front and rear wheel management, mass transfer anticipation in bends and predicting bounces after jumps. There are 16 different monster trucks, over 50 customizable elements, 25 arenas and 3 different leagues to participate in. Very different to what I was expecting then, I assumed it was going to be an arcade type racer with monster trucks. But if you are interested, as I said it comes out on the 19th and it sells for £34.99 or your regional equivalent. Next up we have Cake Bash which releases on the 19th and sells for £17.99. This is a 4 player party game where you take control of particular cakes, playing a series of mini games against your friends or the computer to try and come out on top. It has a really nice look to it, the stages take the shape of things like the counter of the cake shop or even outside on a bench and it has that classic frantic gameplay that you would expect in such a game. You can play it locally or online and this one actually has a demo available as well already on the eShop if you want to try it out. Then we have Eldrador Creatures, which again you can insert the earlier line about me having my head up my backside, but is this a thing? Is this a game that I should know about? The best I could find online is it's a series of toys, maybe that's all it is, I don't know. It says anyway that you can plunge yourself into the world in a turn-based strategy game, using your favourite Eldrador Creatures in a battle for four worlds. There are 20 playable characters, including new figures, oh, there we go, it must be a toy thing, like the Rock Beast and the Shadow Panther, using the special abilities of your chosen creatures to defeat your opponents. Only a one player game though it seems, that's a bit of a missed opportunity, but if you are interested about this or know anything about it at all, it's coming out on the 19th. All the worlds of El penultimate game for the week then this was in last week's video as well because it came out in north america and is now releasing elsewhere this is sakuna of rice and ruin this is a game that we've already reviewed as i said it's out in some regions and is a wonderful game of action and farm simulation it merges the two styles together very well with you having to grow rice and it goes through that process meticulously to then improve your base stats and be stronger to go out to battle and gather resources. It sells for £34.99 and does have a physical release as well and if you want to know more I'll also put the link to this review in that top pin comment. And the final game for the week, coming out on the 20th, a game I know lots of people have been very excited for. This of course is Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. This is the second in the Hyrule Warriors series, a series developed by subsidiaries of Koi Tecmo who published the game in Japan, although it's being published by Nintendo elsewhere. They take the classic Legend of Zelda characters and mix them in with their dynasty or dynasty, depending on where you're from, warriors type gameplay. 
This particular one of course takes place 100 years before the events of Breath of the Wild and will document the events of the Great Calamity, the war that was alluded to during the story of the aforementioned game. There's been a demo of this on the eShop for a couple of weeks now and I know as I said there's a lot of excitement about it. It's going to sell for £50, $60 or Euros, about 80 Australian dollars, standard Nintendo pricing and comes out as I said next Friday on the 20th. I've said enough. The time has come to show you what I'm made of. So there you have it then, 10 games coming out next week. Mars Horizon is the one that sticks out for me. But then you've got decent games like Sniper Elite 4, Serious Sam Collection, Sakuna if you haven't already picked it up in your part of the world, and of course, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Do let us know if you're picking any of these up, which ones excite you, and do check out those links in the top in comment if you are interested in those couple of games. A quick thank you to our Patreons, as always, for your continued support, and to each and every one of you, of course, for watching our videos. Take care, stay safe, and until next time, happy gaming.